Now to Caracas, specifically to the Petare neighborhood, where our special envoy, Yunus Soner, has the latest in this presidential campaign. Let's see. Hello from Caracas, from the neighborhood of Petare. We find ourselves right now in the Cristo Square, which is the center of Petare. Take a look. This is the uh, center of uh, Petare. Petare is a famous neighborhood. It is uh, the second biggest favela in all Latin America. It's uh, supposed to have more than 500,000 inhabitants. The electoral campaign has already started. We see in the background a uh, poster of President Maduro. It says President Maduro loves the people. And this is uh, actually mounted upon a truck. And this truck takes rounds in the center of Petare. And here on the right, we see a so-called electoral fair. This is a stand uh, which educates citizens how the voting process on July 28 happens. It starts with the giving the presenting the ID and giving the fingerprint here on this machine. Then, once uh, notified by the represent, uh, responsible, they behind this cage is the voting machine. This vote is electric electronic vote. So they, on a screen, they choose the candidate of their liking and they receive a paper receipt for that. This paper receipt goes into the cage, which is behind, uh, and is like a kind of comprobante, they say in Spanish. It's like a receipt uh, and is separately collected there. And then they sign there and the process is finished. This whole process takes, according to responsibles, approximately 25 seconds and is part of deep preparations, profound preparations for the elections. Remember that the government has already also organized a simulation of the voting process on June 30th with thousands of citizens already uh, casting their votes, not officially, legally, just to test the system. This simulation was to test uh, also the connections between the machines, the voting machines and the voting centers and the counting procedure as well. The voting machines are being checked by representatives of all political parties and candidates thoroughly and until now all things seem to be very safe and working fine. So there will be on July 28, there will be 30,000 voting machines all over the country and 15,000 uh, voting centers where citizens will be able to cast their votes. Foreign Minister Ivan Hill yesterday on Wednesday held a meeting with uh, the representatives of the diplomatic staff, foreign countries diplomatic staff here in Caracas, and he announced that 625 uh, watchers, international watchers, will be present here in Caracas and the rest of the country uh, during the elections, some of them already arriving these days. So this is a kind of citizens education and it's worth underlining this is not a special one not a unique one there are 81 such stands all over caracas and in all of venezuela there are almost thousand such stands 976 to be exact according to the numbers provided by the national electoral council which are educating citizens how to cast their votes and responsibles told us that there is a huge interest that people are coming all day long to know to uh, get familiar with the process of voting casting their votes on july 28 the presidential elections this is for the time being the situation in caracas all is uh, easy all is uh, smooth and the preparations for the elections are going uh, forward